Hello everybody, we're just taking you through the director's cut version of our Paris Games Week demo of Dreams on PlayStation 4. Yeah. We wanted to sort of deconstruct all the various teasers we've done dating back to the PS4 announce and then taking you sort of on a deep journey into a live demo of what it's like to play the game, play Dreams. And the Imp was the first thing that we introduced you to. So the idea of the Imp is you get to interact with the world. Yeah, it's the way that you touch and feel and manipulate and communicate. Yeah, in, online in it's world. great fun. You can customise the imp to be your own and uh, you can kind of change the expression of the imp by just drawing on the touchpad on the DualShock. Yeah, and mess around with his eyebrows and, and it'll be completely customisable. Exactly. So, it's, so you can make it your unique mascot, if you like. And the thing about dreams that we showed in, the, in this demo is that there's many kinds of gameplay. So different dreams have different rules. So the author of a dream gets to set... Or the dreamer of a dream. The dreamer of a dream yeah. gets to say what the rules are. <laughs> and in this opening sequence, um, it's a very tactile feeling thing. You get to basically move things around using the imp. Yeah. And what we're sneakily doing is introducing you to that's how you create things as well, isn't it? I mean, yeah, exactly. It's a cursor. It's it, a glorified cursor. It's a very cursor. posh, fluffy, squishy cursor. In this level, the, the rules are wide open and there's this little character here called Frances and um, we can possess her and Mark can then directly control her, both using the left stick to make her walk around but also just by moving and emoting and... and exactly, so you can be much more kind of expressive and you know, you can kind of sneak and sort of peek around corners and you can really kind of perform. And then of course the other side of this level is that it's not very large to begin with and so what the dreamer of this dream has done is that they've created collectible items in particular a woodshed and a tree that allow you to extend the level and uh, the tree was sort of a cosmetic item but I think the exciting thing about the woodshed is that it's not just a an ornament to make this place look better it's actually you place it down and then discover that you can actually go inside it to another place yes so this was the first introduction, the demonstration of something we call, well we currently call them links, to kind of remind you of what it might be on the web to move from website to website. But the thing is that when you do that in dreams, it's so much more magical because it's, it's like travelling through a portal or a doorway. And I love the idea that people explore dreams by looking out for things like windows, doors, wells, clearings in forests, you know, all sorts of different ways that you might travel from one dream to another dream. Yeah, exactly. And just like, just like in real dreaming, you know, and that level link can be randomised, so you can say, take me to any level or dream tag jungle made by my friends or made by my friends of friends. So you can choose how selective or, or, or randomised the link is. Yeah, exactly. This level is a much more traditional kind of puzzle platformer type of level. And what Mark had to do as he possessed this character, Francis, and ran around as this little Francis character was, he was trying to find a way to get up to the cool flying books and the only way he could do it was through a secret door with a sort of combination lock. So that's a, that's, that's a very sort of simple example of using the imp and the sort of tactile interactions in the world that are, you know, yeah. very intuitive and physical. All of the sort of logic and uh, construction of the rules of how the door opens it, it's really easy to do, so it, it can go from just as simple as searching for door with secret lock. Yeah, you can find one that someone's already made for you, basically. Exactly. The wonderful thing about dreams is you can collage the work of others, so if you don't feel up to building some fancy uh, logic, you can do it by, by just using someone else's stuff. Or you can use our electronic system, which is very easy to get into. Yeah, it's very similar to what we did in Little Big Planet. Yeah. Obviously, we've made it better where we could think of improvements and things, right. but it's coming from the same kind of place. So the idea with Dreams is that we both go easier to use if you just want to use someone else's things and also deeper. So it's kind of like tackling both sides. Anyway, so you go through the door that you found and you find yourself in this gigantic kind of auditorium-y strange place, too big to climb up yourself. But luckily there's a giant just hanging out, having a snooze. And this is this is to sort of sow the seed in people's minds, hopefully, that you know, the the range of kind of characters that you can create in this is 
is infinite, essentially. Exactly. So many games have customization of characters, but we actually have creation of characters. You can build characters from scratch, or you can customize others that you find, whether it's part of the gameplay experience or part of the creative experience. We're sort of mashing those two together. So we don't really draw a hard line between when you're playing or when you're creating. You're just having fun. Yeah. And character creation and customization is one of the most fun things to do because you just mess around with it, you change the proportions, long legs, short well, legs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I think Kareem, our art director, would, would agree with me that 90% of character design is just the proportions, really. Right. Yeah. So very quickly, just by stretching a, a, a biped around, you've kind of got most of your character and then you can immediately... Play that character. Really, when you're creating a character, you've got this really nice tight loop of like sculpting a bit on it, then seeing what it walks like, adjusting it, it's, it's, it's really good fun. And actually that leads us into the, the sort of climax of our Paris demo, was it going into that depth of playing and creating even more so when you go online, because when, when people join you in your level, you don't all have to be doing a platform mechanic. In this case, Cake World, the rules are that people who join after the first player get to you know, assemble fruit bowls and yeah. I mean, this is I mean, this is a dream where somebody's kind of pretty much opened up all of the the rules, if you like. It's like a sandbox. And they're level. yeah, it's like a sandbox. They're literally these people are constructing a level whilst there's someone in there actually testing it. One of the things I think we didn't celebrate enough about Little Big Planet was a lot of people just played around and messed around in this create mode as, as if it were a sandbox. And it wasn't about publishing a particular dream or a particular level in Little Big Planet. And it's the same even more so in dreams of like, if you just want to muck around with your friends and you know they can build a cake highway or in this case a breadboard of, of doom and carve faces into it, that's fun in itself. That's, that's part of the joy of dreams. It is um, taking the best of both worlds there really. You, yeah. can, you could use all of these tools to create very traditional games as well. You know, you could use this to create a, a racing game or a shooter game or Platformer some new kind of genre that doesn't exist yet, if yeah. you like. And that's the thing about dreams. When people say, what is it like to play dreams? The real answer is, it's going to be this journey, the exploration of the dreamiverse, but the individual dreams can have their own rules. And we won't know what rules you choose until we get this out there and, and, and you guys and girls get a go. And I think that leads into our, our beta trial next year. It'll be very exciting to see what you do with it and we'll be responding. It's not like a fire and forget. That's the beginning of dreams for real. We know that we're going to seed the community with some brilliant Media Molecule made assets, levels, games, um, stories. But really the exciting thing is to find out what the community builds. Yeah, that's, the, that's going to be the lifeblood life blood of it all, I think. Yep. Totally. Can't wait to see it. PS4 for the players.